Hi, I'm Nisa. This is Learn STEM, and you're listening to my Tech Talk. Today, I'm going to explain the COVID-19 mRNA vaccine. I'll explain what it is and how it works. Everybody lost their mind. Everybody thinks that they're dying. But everything gon' be alright. A- <coughs> Please tell me what do you got? I wanna drink, maybe something that's hot. All I need is a remedy. Cause baby, I ain't got. So I know we're all beyond aware of the coronavirus and how many issues that has been brought along because of it, not only in our nation, but our entire world, and not to dismiss the extreme individual impacts that it had on each person. For me, quarantine and this whole COVID thing has been pretty negative of an experience. I feel like it's been pretty rough on my mental health, but that's focusing on the negatives, and there are some big positives to COVID, uh, which was us being able to develop vaccines in record time, which is a huge medical technological advancement. Um, The three main COVID vaccines we have in the United States are Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer, and the Moderna vaccine. Uh, Today, I'm going to be focusing more on Pfizer and Moderna because Johnson & Johnson is not an mRNA vaccine. Um, And I think it's really important to understand what these things are because I think it will increase people getting vaccinated because you can understand why we're doing these things and the science behind it. So with all that said, I think before I jump into what and how the vaccine itself works, I'm going to explain how RNA works because that's going to give a backing to understanding the vaccine a little bit better. So mRNA means messenger RNA, and RNA alone, or ribonucleic acid, is composed of three different types of RNA. You've got messenger RNA, transfer RNA, and ribosomal RNA. These three RNA types are important because they convert the information in DNA into proteins. And that is so important because, well, without that, we would have no body at all because our bodies wouldn't be able to make the proteins that are responsible for antibodies, hormone production, uh, enzymes. Um, In addition to all that, DNA could not exist because mutations would occur and there would be no step to proofread the DNA. Moral of the story, um, RNA is so, so, so important to humans. So now that there's a baseline knowledge of RNA, why it's important, what it does, we can jump a little bit into the vaccine itself. So mRNA vaccines have been being studied for a while. It's been studied for the flu, uh, Zika virus, rabies, SARS. Point being, this type of vaccine has been being looked at and studied by scientists for a while and the struggle with COVID that they were learning to create a vaccine for was learning how to design mRNA instructions for cells to build the unique spike protein into an RNA vac- mRNA vaccine. And I will get more into that in a second, but I'm just going to go into what a vaccine itself does. The point of any vaccine is to prepare your body to fight pathogens like bacteria or viruses. And a typical vaccine uses a weakened or killed version of the bacteria to teach your body how to fight that foreign pathogen. And once that happens, your body has the information on how to fight the illness. The mRNA vaccine doesn't work quite just like this. How the mRNA vaccine works is by introducing a piece of messenger RNA that goes along with the protein of the virus to the body. Once that happens, the cell can produce the protein of the virus because it has the mRNA blueprint. This then allows the immune system to kick in and fight the viral protein by creating antibodies. Then once the antibodies are created, they remain in in the body in case you are exposed to the virus again, and this is why we have to get multiple vaccines to build up these antibodies. So just to clarify, the difference between a typical vaccine and an mRNA vaccine is a typical one would use a weakened form or killed form of the virus itself, which takes months 
um, to produce, whereas an mRNA vaccine can just use the pathogen's genetic code. It gives you the code directly, so your body has that protein and blueprint to be able to fight it without being introduced to the bacteria itself. Um, this is important for things like COVID because of how quickly it's spreading and how quickly we needed um, a lot of this vaccine. Essentially, these mRNA vaccines um, are created by the cells themselves building protein from the information given from the mRNA. So the vaccine itself consists a single strand of the mRNA that has the specific protein that our body needs to learn how to fight. And the specific protein for this are these spike proteins or coronavirus, meaning crowns. So our body is learning how to fight any cell that or antigen that comes in with these spikes. And with that, our body does the rest of the work. It has the blueprint on how to fight these spike proteins. And from then it can create the antibodies and our body just does the work for us. That's the genuine rundown of the mRNA vaccine, how RNA itself works, what it is entirely, how it was created. Um, I hope I explained it in a way that made sense. Um, I'm learning too. I hope you enjoyed today's tech talk. Make sure to tune in for more episodes of the Learn STEM podcast on Spotify or anywhere else you listen to your podcast for a new podcast every week. Um, in the future, we will also have a more established Instagram and that will all be linked in the podcast bio. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Bye.